Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here. Not the most interesting video. I didn't really have any news related stuff, and I do apologize for for that. But I saw something on Twitter a few days ago after WrestleMania that really caught my eye and just really made me think about how cool of a like an accomplishment it was. Now with um, you know the, all the championships that changed hands at WrestleMania, the only championships that are not being held or that are being held by a guy that wasn't from Ring of Honor. Uh, is John Cena and Tyson Kidd, who's won half of the tag team championships. John Cena being the United States champion, of course. But you got Seth Rollins uh, from Ring of Honor. Of course, all these guys from Ring of Honor. WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. Uh, Intercontinental Champion Daniel Bryan. One half of the tag team champion Tyson Kidd. And uh, Kevin Owens, NXT Champion. Now, I think this is just so crazy. It just... When you, like, step back and really look about... Look, look at it, it gives you kind of... It gives me hope that you know the WWE's not looking at the big guys so much the guys like Roman Reigns sure they have those guys like Roman Reigns but uh, it shows that it's about pure wrestling talent now and I really think that's what this kind of means I mean it's not about how big you are Seth Rollins isn't the biggest guy but he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brock Lesnar he may have ran away like a little girl but he's still the heel and uh, it's just cool to see him as champion uh, also in TNA Ring of Honor's taking over you know uh, Austin Aries, who was a, a big Ring of Honor guy, uh, the first two-time Ring of Honor World Champion. Uh, Kenny King came from Ring of Honor, who I freaking love. I wish they would use him so much more than they do. Um, the Wolves, the, uh, not current anymore. They're vacant titles now, but the tag team champions, uh, or the former tag team champions of TNA, were uh, from, from Ring of Honor, being the Wolves. And uh, I just think that's really crazy, and I, I really love that, that the indies and you know Ring of Honor guys are coming into WWE and really, really, you know, becoming something huge. And it's just really cool to see. And uh, a lot of people are against the idea of WWE signing talent. They, they're rumored to be signing talent for their NXT tours. When NXT finally really gets off the ground and starts touring around, they want some uh, indie guys, some, you know, semi-big names to get people coming in that just don't, uh, that are not, aren't, you know, aren't familiar with WWE, but see this guy and there's like, oh, he's from Ring of Honor, blah, blah, blah. I want to go see that show. And uh, I like the idea. It, it does suck uh, that uh, you know some like some indie companies will be you know sad because they're losing their guys. But it kind of they kind of need to be like PWG. PWG I feel like is always in introducing new stars, and they're never a lot of guys stay there for a while. But it's not like it's just uh, the same old guys. You get new talent every single event. Like it's crazy, and I think that's awesome. You know they need to be like PWG now. Uh, the Briscoes are rumored to be going to NXT, so right off the bat, Jay Briscoe would have to lose the title to go to NXT. And uh, you got guys like ACH, uh, Rod Roderick Strong, this awesome guy. You know, Jay Lethal. You have awesome guys that uh, just, you have them in that role, you know, where it's like, if we lose a big name to the WWE or to TNA, we got somebody right there to fill his place. And I think that's awesome. So, it's awesome to see Ring of Honor in the Indies taking over WWE and TNA. I, I freaking love it. It's showing me that it really is about the wrestling talent, and not just how big you are. And I, I hate that uh, that whole thing. Just uh, the big guys. We want those guys. I, I that really annoys me. But uh, it's awesome to see these guys getting the chance and the opportunities they deserve. So let me know what you think about this. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Seven WB Rock. Sorry for again for not the most interesting video, but I just really wanted to talk about it. So hopefully you did enjoy. TNA's on tonight, and I'll be tweeting during it because it's their first live tweet edition where uh, supposedly if you tweet during it, a good comment, I'm assuming, uh, they'll put it on TV. They'll, you'll get to see your tweets. And Dixie Carter said the more times you tweet, the better chance you get of going on the show. Uh, I don't expect them to put on seven WWE Rocks, but it would be really cool if they did. So thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy Impact tonight if you watch it. And uh, just, as always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.